Hi everyone, how are you people doing? This is Beatriz Yugi. I hope you are keeping you are keeping well since the last time that we spoke or I spoke to you guys. I hope you're keeping safe. You're not going out if you don't have to, you're social distancing. You're wearing masks when you go out to public places to just uh, keep yourself and others safe. Yeah, and uh, we hope that as you know, things will get back to normal and we'll go back to our lives. Those who need to go to work will go back to work. Those who need to go back to school. Those who need to enjoy their summer will have a time to just enjoy summer and go out. We just hope so and we pray that this thing really ends. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, I just wanted to share something really quick. I don't want to take much of your time. I wanted to share uh, about a dream that I had uh, about last week. Yeah. yeah. So, in this dream, I happened to, to you know, I was, uh, I was somewhere. I don't even remember where this was, but I was in this place and uh, I was looking at a, at a glass jar that had been placed on top of a table and uh, the content of this glass jar was some green liquid that had some leaves inside and uh, the, 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 the leaves were Mrenda leaves. No, Mrenda is a, is, a, is a vegetable or in this case let me call it a herb that is uh, back home in Kenya. We use it as a vegetable. We normally mix it up with another vegetable called kunde. And uh, yeah, it comes out very nice when boiled and then uh, fried, and uh, it is taken with a um, with a with a starch food called ugali, and it is very nice. So in this dream, I saw Miranda has been boiled. You know, the, the leaves have been boiled and have been put in this uh, glass container, and a voice spoke from like you know behind me and just said that if the content of this glass was taken, it could treat the disease. If the contents of this glass, the content was boiled Miranda leaves was taken, it could cure or heal the disease. Oh, the voice didn't mention the name of the disease, but I remember very well that in the dream, I knew automatically that the disease the voice is talking about was COVID-19. It was just in my mind. I don't know how, but you just know dreams sometimes how things happen. I knew that they're talking about COVID-19. So yeah, the dream ends there and I wake up and... Uh, you know, when I, when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, wow, you know, Miranda of all the bogus, surely, you know, Miranda, it seems so simple. It's like, yeah, anyway, so I didn't think so much about it. I just kept it at the back of my mind until after about two days. And uh, I, I watched something on, uh, on Facebook that just triggered my memory about the dream again. And uh, I decided to come, to think about it. So I thought about it, and I thought, well, why don't I just you know research and just find out what's you know what what's the harm? So I came, I sat down, and uh, I didn't even know the English name for Miranda. I just knew it as Miranda, and it was a vegetable. So I sat down, googled the English name. I found out that it was called Juice Mallow Juice, as in J uh, uh, J E W Mallow M A L L O W, and uh, the scientific the scientific name was. Uh, uh, Corchoras olitorias, Corchoras olitorias, uh, C O R C H O R U S olitorias, O I L I T O R I U S, Corchoras olitorias. So I Google further and I find that uh, it has many uses, you know, so, and it is available in the Middle East, it's available in India. Uh, people can't uh, people really don't know the source or uh, you know where it the, the origin of the of the herb but uh, they believe that uh, maybe some species originated from Africa others from uh, from India but anyway I think that's not really important now uh, what's important is that uh, uh, some of the users were medicinal and it is just amazing that uh, some of the things this uh, uh, herb was has been used over the years to treat some of the symptoms are so very very uh, you know same like the symptoms of covid-19 and uh, yeah some of the things that it treated was uh, fever joint pains uh, there was uh, pectoral pains which is chest pains that can come from uh, lung disease or uh, or pneumonia lung infection or pneumonia or things like that so yeah we talk about joint pains which is uh, I've had people who have corona say they had you know they, they had joint pains all over the body they had uh, chest pains they had um, irritation of the mucous membrane and one of the things that uh, this uh, um, due to Miranda treats is uh, it alleviates the irritation of the mucous membrane you know from the nose going uh, to the mouth going down it alleviates the irritation of the mucous membrane and uh, other, another thing is that it um, 
it it acts as a tonic for 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 well being and uh, it prevents symptoms due to asthma cold and flu so i just thought wow this is uh, just so close it cannot just be a coincidence and uh, moreover i also spoke to a friend of mine i shared this with a friend of mine who works in the ministry of health um, back home in kenya and she told me that uh, in the ministry of health they have this department of um, herbal medicine where they just research on the uh, indigenous medicine and um, uh, of recent one of the uh, one of the herbs that have come on their table is uh, this Morenda, uh, uh, they found an article from, I think, Middle East, where they say that Molokia, because it's called Molokia in Middle East, Molokia can be used to, 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 to treat, uh, to treat uh, COVID-19. Let me just see what the article said for sure. Mm, just one second, one second. Yeah, it said... Uh, that uh, research indicates that uh, Molokia contains flavonoids that help zinc enter the coronavirus infected cells, hence weakens the effect of the virus in the body. And I was like, oh, okay, wow. Yeah, so I just thought that I should share this with everyone out there. If you know of any scientist, or if you're a scientist or a researcher and you'd like to research more, please uh, do not hesitate. Just uh, it could help anybody go ahead if you know someone or a friend or a family member who is a scientist or who researches on herbs and and and, and, and indigenous medicine please share 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 so that uh, we could just uh, you know you never know it could be the the breakthrough that we need it could be one of the uh, the breakthroughs out there that uh, we can use and uh, also because it is a cheaper way it can be a cheaper way of uh, of treatment especially in africa uh, where it is readily available and uh, it can be it can be very good to just be able to get medicine from your backyard or uh, yeah if it can be developed from readily available sources i think it can be very useful yeah so i thought that uh, i just needed to share i'm not a scientist i don't know anything about me uh, uh, about medicine all i know is that i had a dream and i'm simply sharing uh, the dream that I had and I believe having been in prayer and having really sincerely in prayer uh, really sincerely I've been praying and I know most people have been praying many Christians and even and Christians have been praying because this thing has really killed so many people and you know it is just uh, causing anxiety we have really been praying that God just provides a solution so when uh, I got this dream and now just uh, you know seeing uh, the things that uh, this uh, hub has been used to treat i just think or feel that uh, there could be something uh, deeper than we know so if it can help it can be very good so please uh, just share share wide share the information if it can just reach to someone who can help it can be good yeah you can uh, just put your comments below and uh, let's see what happens see you adios